D2DNY, Real World HVAC Simplified. And now, in this video, I am doing a startup on this year Addison split condensing unit. It's a rather crazy condenser, guys. It got it has a lot of stuff going on here. But I'm just gonna give you guys a tutorial. A tutorial, not a tutorial, just to walk around. I'm gonna show you all the components. And um, this is by no means a video showing you how to do a startup, right? So if you are a, if you're a pro and you are an you're an expert in this thing, then you will definitely know to do a startup. If you're a beginner, if you're a do-it-yourselfer, then you know you just can't do a startup. Automatically, if you're a pro, you know to do a startup. So this video is not going to be showing you how to do a startup. All right, I'm just gonna I'm just showing you showing you in this video what I'm doing on this particular startup. Now, um, particularly, I know I've not been uploading anything technical recently. The last few videos I've uploaded was not very technical. You know, they were just regular beginner and do-it-yourselfer videos, right? So, uh, I want to do this for my um, for my technical subscribers, followers. You know, give you guys something, All right? Give you guys what you like. I'm gonna go over some of these components now. Also, I'm also not a uh, not a not an expert on Addison units, Addison condenser units. I mean, you can ask me questions about this. I'll tell you what I've know or what I know or what I've learned because pretty much this unit, this particular unit, um, whatever I know about this particular type of condenser, I've learned it on this job, right? Pretty much figured it out right here. Um, I've done a video with uh, with an Addison condenser before but it was not like this it didn't have this controller here it didn't have that it didn't have this right it didn't have this um this touch display it didn't have that um, and it, it had a, it had a digital scroll Copeland digital scroll compressor however um, Here's your solenoid right there. That's your Copeland digital scroll. That's a digital scroll compressor solenoid. It had, but it has a, uh, it had a um, Copeland digital um, scroll compressor control module. This one doesn't have that, however. It's, it's all done from that controller there. So this is, you know, somewhat different. All right. But anyways, let me go over what I'm doing right here, guys. Again, um, you got some questions about what I'm doing. You can ask. This here is not particularly for beginners or do-it-yourselfers. Um, this is pro level stuff. If you, when you're doing a startup, guys, you're gonna want to, you know, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to fill out your startup sheet, as you can see here. All right, I made mistakes on this all the time, but uh, it will help if you have the tool. Makes it easier. Sub cooling, superheat, pressures, temperatures, all that jazz. And I'm having refrigerant as well. This is a split system. Here's my scale, I'm on an R14A and I'm, all I'm using is just a hose with a shutoff valve because I have the smart probes boom, suction and uh, discharge and clamps clamps alright well, as you can see this is a heat pump condenser it has, you know, it has um, hot gas reheat it does dehumidification on the, you know it's an, it's it's also a Addison indoor unit as well with an um, with an EC blower fan for your supply for your evaporator fan and there was a whole bunch of wires guys look this is this is the control wires all of this wow it's a lot right this is, all of this has been used and uh, including with this this black one right here that's control wires all controls these extra ones these are extras. I didn't use these, but all these over here came up here. But I did such a, I did such like a, nah, I did a neat job, right? This is neat, it's clean. It looks, it looks factory. So you can't see it, you can't see all the terminations because I just blend everything in nice. It's all blended in, all right? I have some wires connected over here. For example, this wire right here, it's loose. And the reason why it's loose because that's 
the damper end switch which is currently not installed so like I gotta trick the controller to let it think that you know when it calls for the damper to open then the damper opens other than that you know let me give you a quick walker through in this one <laughs> a quick run through so we're in alarm right now for compressor number two it says stop all right if I click on it the little icon right here you see that C2 alarm and the reason for that is it's calling for compressor number two but because I'm adding the refrigerator to compressor number one I don't want to run both compressors at the same time because um, you know I can't charge both of them simultaneously so I'm doing them one at a time so what I did over here I shut off the the overload for the starter because you know over uh, overload protector and contactor makes up a starter so I just shut the overload off and I got compressor one running so you gotta, you gotta capture your amperage when you're doing a startup okay amperage is one check all your voltages make sure your connections are tight you know inspect everything you know, you, you know you're gonna have to do some control wiring this controller this little keypad thing right here it's just a keypad actually I don't know I really don't know what it could do I mean, if you know, comment in the comment section. I'm not really at it. It's whatever I'm learning about this right here. I'm a virgin, guys. This is the first time. Um, I looked at all the instructions and I just plug it up the way it's supposed to be plugged up. This is a Cat5 wire that goes into here. It came with that. And um, it came with this plug. So I just looked and I see where it goes right here. I just plug it right in. Boom. This wire and um it was already hooked up like that and um yeah um i have to run uh space temperature humidity sensor this is it right here um oh, wait a minute i think i may have did something what happened now i'm shut down <laughs> and uh compressor one shut down i don't know why but anyways um yeah let me just give you a quick run through so i can show you the password and what's in here you know and this is just for my uh more of my technical viewers so I'm going to set up it's going to ask you for a password and you put the password in and let me see the password is a uh, number so it's a uh, one this is this is an this is an android based system too one nine five two one nine five two and you log in boom all right, let's see what's going on. Why is it shut down here? Let's see. I see. Did it shut down on this compressor number two? Compressor number. Oh, oh, oh. I think I ended up um because this wire is not is not this wire is not a uh, screw down. It says ODA alarm, right? So I pull on this while it's running, and you know probably think the damper is closed so I'm going to uh, reset that real time so you can see it I'm gonna reset both of them so when you go back on the home screen I'm gonna get back in here in a little bit let's press that yes boom so now we're gonna reset it's gonna start up again it's gonna go away this is gonna go away So occupied outside your damper. So it's opening it. Let's see it. I think I just pulled on the wire because I was showing you guys and it fell out. But the reason why I have this wire loose is because there's no damper installed. Okay, there's no damper installed. And um, whatever, if, if I have this wire connected, then it's gonna throw me an error saying that outside your damper in and, and it wouldn't start up. It wouldn't start up, so. Right now I can go on my supply fan. I'll show you that. Supply fan. And it says it's such um it's on and it's supply fan proven switch. Air proven switch. It's on. And uh I that's a CT switch guys that's on that. So it's definitely on right now, otherwise there'll be another fault. Um so we go back here cooling from here you can see supply air temperature temperatures so if I do that one 
you see my supply your temperature is 63 and this is um 100 outside air so it's you can see the temperature 77 okay um yeah so it's it's actually going it's going to go up because the compressor's not running it's going to get harder and harder harder and harder all right uh what else we got here um so it, i think it's calling for compressor number two because i hear the contact is clicking you know but it's not going to run that because i have it off i won't run because i want to finish with my charge and compressor number number one so there's an alarm right here now let's see see c2 alarm that came back that came back and c1 you can look at that boom so it's back to fan only because it calls for compressor one first i'm, I'm assuming Com compressor two first and then because it wasn't running because the switch was off so that's that all right uh what else uh, what else i want to show you guys are this can i show you guys you have uh here's a reheat stuff right here you got the reheat settings and it has the electric um electric electric duck heater that's going to be your emergency or your backup heat i'm assuming um, so like that, and that's a signal that I wired in. It's a SCR dock heater downstairs. You know, I probably do a clip of downstairs as well. Okay. And you know, this is what you're looking at. Status. Okay, what am I got now? Um, so here, here's the heating. That's the that's the that's the electric dock, and it tells you the type two right here. Electric SCR. All right, silicon control rectifier. All right yeah and then if you want to do set points you want to set up and then here you go set points right here all right boom these are your safety limits that's these set points right here okay there you go and you know you can scroll up and down this is android base you can scroll up and down in the corner over there and uh there you go press number one baby uh, these are units, unit uh, cooling set point, cooling one set point, cooling two set point. Uh, uh, come on, where did you go? But anyways, um, unit configs are some of the options. Tech setup in there. You can uh, in tech setup you can do a couple of things. You can do like several things actually. You can say unit occupancy control, you can do 24 7, that's what I chose right here. Um, you can do uh, BAS, stop start switch. I'm assuming that if you do the stop start switch, there got to be an input on here that you'll use. I don't know. Comment in the comment section if you do know. Um, yeah, what else? I mean, I don't know. I just want to do this video because, you know, I. Did not do anything technical recently. And I think this classified as technical. All right. Here's your hot gas, hot gas valves. All right. Another reversing valve right here. RV. The other solenoids. Actually, there's there's valves in this thing, and I didn't fully understand what they do. Because, for example, this solenoid right here. Um, I think it's a liquid line solenoid when you're in heating mode. I'm not sure. It's just a TXV there. This right here is a uh, this pipe right here is discharge. Comes right out of a compressor discharge. All right. I gotta figure this thing out, guys. I gotta still figure it out. Here's a here's a uh, receiver. That's definitely the liquid right there. A small receiver, put the dryer. And um, but yeah, I'm, this is all new to me. You got your compressor contactor. These are for your fans. Um, this is your uh, VFD for your condenser fans. This is your phase monitor, transformer. Yeah, fuses back here, guys. Fuses, um, relays. Yeah, that's pretty much the whole thing. That's the whole thing. Uh, what are these little things right here? I don't even know. Um, what are these used for? These are these are. I gotta check the schematic to know what these are, guys. If you know, just comment in the comment section, right? You know. Comment in the comment section if you're a technical and you know this thing right here, you know about Addison. Especially if you're from Florida. I think this is a Florida manufacturer. Down south. Comment. Comment, man. Alright. 
But um, yeah, I'm just gonna finish. I'm just gonna do turn on the next circuit so I can get my uh, my um, charge complete for the second circuit. And by the way, I didn't do this install. I'm just doing the startup. Apparently, the guys who did the install didn't know to do the startup. Oh, there's a bird that died that died over there. All right, there you go. This piping goes downstairs. It's about it's a long run, very long run. Alright, I'm gonna close this video off. Here's the condenser. Fans up there. Again, the fans are on the VFD drive. Um Yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Heat pump with electric backup heat or emergency heat. Alright. So again, you're gonna want to check your amperages when you're doing your uh oh these are uh these CT switches right here. Let's the controller knows whether the compressor is on or not. And also, um, there's a similar one of these downstairs on the supply fan. It's an EC fan. Um, yeah, so you see, I got my compressor amperage here. Got my uh, suction pressure, accelerated temp um, temperature, accelerated temperatures for my, for my high side, discharge temperature. Press a discharge. I want to put a clamp on that real quick. So I'm just going to take the clamp from here and throw it on my compressor discharge. Boom, it's that easy, guys. When you have the tool, when you have the tools, makes the job easier. Oh, I was recording too. And recording. I was recording on this thing. I was recording. So this charge temperature is going up. 148, 50. Hmm. All right. So I'm gonna close this video off, guys. Again, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. I upload videos on a weekly basis. And this is uh 153. It's gonna get in order. Yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna post this video up. You know, what I mean, you, you, you are my, my uh, technical subscribers. You know, the ones who like to see me do technical stuff. That subscribe for that. This video is for you guys. Something for you guys to look at, comment on. You can give me pointers because, like I said, this is my first time. I, I have never ever. I swear to you, I have never ever worked on one of these before. I've worked on a, an, an Addison condenser, but it was not like this. It was way more simpler. Not much going on. It has a, it had a VFD. You can go back in my video, you'll see it. But this one is very first time. Um, so you got pointers on this, you can you can you know comment. It's a talk about it in the comment section, you know what I'm saying? And you know you can show me a thing or two. But I know if I need to figure something out here, I could figure it out. Because that's what I do. Um, but just to finish this startup, I got everything I needed already. I got, I got this thing working. This thing is growing, it's working. You know, um, I have, you know, everything I needed. Got all the wiring done, and you can see it looks like factory. See the black one right here? I brought this up, terminated. It's all terminated over here. All right, it's all it's all looking nice. I did all the wiring, guys. I landed some of the wires over here, some over there, and you. If I didn't tell you, you wouldn't even know. But look, yeah, this goes downstairs. All this. And this one, this one I didn't, these I didn't use, these are extras. All right, that's it, enough talking. Oh, I have my, uh, I have this valve disconnected. I'm gonna put it back now because I'm done with this circuit. I think my super heat, because, because it's a long run, it's a long run, right? So I'm gonna, I'm not gonna put any more refrigerant in this because it's a lot, it's about 200 feet, 200 feet of pipe. It's a lot of pipe. So, my sub cooling was um, 10 to 13. I'm leaving it just like that. I'm not going any further, no more refrigerant. My discharge line temp is 162. So I'm writing that in. Real time. Okay. Now I'm gonna move to my next circuit. It's gonna move my uh, sensor to the other liquid line. So this is the liquid line I was working on. That's circuit number one. 
I'm going to where's binocular number two? Where is it? This is the odd gas reheat pipe. That one. Liquid line one. And liquid line number two down here, right? That's what it says right there. So I'm gonna clamp on that. Boom. I'm gonna bring over my uh bring down my uh suction line clamp and put it on this one. I'm gonna have to rip the insulation a little bit and get my clamp in there. You know where we go. Alright. You know, I'm, I'm, you know, if you're still here, you're special. Alright, if you're still here, you're special. Because you could have been gone a long time ago. You want to watch me work? Well, go ahead. Alright, so I'm setting up for the other circuit. Again, I, didn't, I don't need a manifold because I'm using my smart tools. I'm a smart probe. And this... See, that's how you remove your, your gauge like a pro. Alright, you got to go real fast. And don't keep your hands back of it because you know you'll get burned, you know, refrigerant burned. But then again, this is on this is on the discharge, so it's all vapor. This is on the suction too, so it's all vapor. It won't do any damage to you. You know, so I'm about to turn on this compressor right here now to check this circuit. And I know I'm gonna have to add refrigerant to it. My tank is all going to be This tank is almost empty. This is 25 pounds and I had uh, about 22 pounds in there. 23 pounds, so. One of the things when you're doing, uh, oh, there it is. So it turned on right away. Let's see what we got, guys. This charge wasn't done by me. It was done by the, another contractor. And um, as, you, as I run both compressors, the supply air temperature, supply air temperature, you can see from here, it starts drops, which it should be dropping. 62 degrees, that's it right here. And finally, compressor two is running. No more annoyance, no more faults. If I go back, cooling number one and I have to drop the set point reload to get the compressor because it was doing dehumidification and I do not know what this purge mean I guess when it first starts it starts up it does a purge if you do know if you're an Addison guy Addison then you just let me know in the comment section you gotta educate you gotta share the knowledge guys don't be stingy don't be selfish all right let's go back and look at my supplier temperature there's uh, two thermistors on the indoor unit, which I had wired up somewhere on this thing right here. Oh man, I'm gonna show you guys. I'm show you guys. You know, I'm gonna show you guys the schematic real quick. Hold on. All right, so here is some of it. This right here, all these wires here. All right, I run these wires. These wires here. These wires here. Um, this I didn't do. This is on, this is on the condenser. This is on the condenser right here. Okay, actually, nope. I've run this wire, however, the damper is not there. The damper is not there, so I'd run that wire. Um, that's just one page. What else? Mm. Oh, yeah, I run these wires. The zone sensor, there's a sensor in the space right now, as well as temperature and humidity. I run that. And this right here, you know, as you, this is the uh, EQ2. Yeah, so I hold this up. That's that's this thing right here. Let's see your pressures. Ah, this circuit is not looking too bad, guys. Not at all. Subcooling is not too bad. Superheat not too bad either. Wow. Okay. Um, yeah, but this video is getting rather long, you know, I don't know if you guys like videos like this If you do Want to see me, you know, struggle about like if you like to watch videos like this with me struggling about and You know, like do stuff like this then yeah, yo, yo, comment. I, I do more. I do more videos like this You know um, Well, I think I let's see I, did I run this wire here. What is this? That's the outdoor 
air temperature and return humidity. Oh, I didn't run this. I didn't do that, but I did this one. I run the wires for these. Supply your temperature. That's where you got these numbers from. These numbers. Oh, it's kind of windy up here too. Ooh. All right. So you see these numbers you've seen here. You see, you see, you can see it on a cooling number two. All right. Here we go. That's 57. Oh, that's that's nice. And it's outside here, so we're doing 74. 57 that's almost 20, 20 degrees guys and uh, this circuit here it's not looking too bad at all on charge I think maybe I don't have got anything maybe I'm good I don't know I'll see as time goes by all right and I think I'm probably calling for this one to unload right now let's put the solenoid back and see put the solenoid back and this up the wire back on the solenoid. Yep. Yep. There you go. That sounds familiar. Sounds familiar, right? Here goes my pictures goes by schematic. Alright, I'm gonna close this video off guys. Again if you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, subscribe. Um, yeah, you got the password. The password for this thing is 195 1952. 1952. You want to get access to this? 1952. Okay, I'm out. Wait a minute, let me walk around here. Give you a side view before I go. It's a dead bird. Okay, that's what it looks like. There's a coil, and here's the fans. So these fans are not um, what you call it EC fans even though they, they may look like EC fans but that VFD drive feeds both of them okay and um, I'm definitely gone this time I'm gone that's it these are the overloads, overloads for the fan uh, these are two that goes to the fan these are the wires for the fan okay Right, there's a fan going to the fan motors, the condenser, condenser fan motors, and this wire right here going into the VFD drive. Okay, this is VFD in, and these are for the fans, these two overloads, safeties, or protection. So, VFD, oh, it's actually it's labeled right here. How about that? It's labeled, labeled VFD ODF 1, ODF 2. All right. That's it, I'm out.